Hey YouTube, here again. This is one of, I think, about five or six videos that I have made in Windows 7 Sin Alpha or pre-beta, pre -beta, sorry, um, version build 6801. And um, it might look a little different to you. And yeah, not because the Alpha Romeo, I think that's an 8C is my background, but I got the Super Bar enabled. Uh, the super bar replaces um, the regular Windows, regular Windows taskbar. They may, I think they made it a little taller, and it's definitely more functional, and I actually really like it. So, here's a video I'm just going to show you um, about that. Originally, the super bar was not built into this build of um, into this build, the Windows 7 build 6801. I found an application. Thank you um, to the user that commented on one of my videos. I found the application blew something to to um, get that hidden feature activated. Thanks again. So anyways, now you've been able to we've been able in Windows to pin things to the start menu before. And that puts them here where my mouse is. Now we can pin them to the taskbar. So I've put Google Chrome, Google Earth, Windows Media Center, Windows Media Player, Office Word, Office Excel, and Office PowerPoint 07. I'll go ahead and launch Office Word. I will launch Office Excel and PowerPoint. All of them open up in their own little window down here. And, I, and, I, and <laughs> sorry, and as I move my cursor over them, I get the uh, little thumbnail view that we've always had with Vista and now it moves along with you and it's somewhat interactive. You can close it and then you obviously click to, vo click to view it. If you have two windows open of the same, the same thing, let's open two windows updates. I think we can do that. No, we can't. Okay. Let's open two office words then. And one of them will type something like Windows 7 build 6801. And the other one will type nothing. When we come down and highlight them, well, let's get rid of that. We can easily, they put them both in the same little place there. So we can see which one we want to click on, which is nice. Then with Windows Media Player, let's open that. Let's play... The Beatles, I'm going to mute it so we don't hear that. Minimize it, highlight it. In the thumbnail there, we can pause, go to the forward track, go back a track, volume controls, and mute. Very nice. I really like that. Then if you click on the, there's a little arrow next to most of the things that you can put in the taskbar. If you click on that, you can open it and do different tasks, and it's really quite nice. I really like how Windows did that. It kind of slides up. When you highlight it, each, each different thing you have down here is a different color. Like that's kind of a purpley blue. You can see that my uh, screen recording software. Media player is an orange. Uh, if we open Chrome, Google Chrome, it's kind of a yellow, and it's it's really nice. I really do like the super bar, and uh, it's definitely more transparent. And it uh, and you sorry forgot to say this. You can move things around down here, reorganize them, which I've kind of wondered why they haven't done in Windows before. But now we can move around groups of windows. It's all transparent when we're moving this. And uh, long story short, it's really nice. And I can't wait for the release of Windows 7 somewhere around 2010. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions. So thank you again.